So this is probably one of the earliest that I've ever started filming on this channel. It's 4.30 a.m. right now. We're in the south of Tablas. And we got up this early because we got to head to the north of Tablas, which is going to take about three hours in a tricycle. And we're heading there because we're going to be going to an island nearby called Romblon Island. And all the boats are early. So yeah, we just packed all our stuff now and we're going to be heading out soon. All right, off we go. See you later. So we've arrived at the port now. We're we're almost two hours early, so I don't know why we why we left so early. But when we arrived, there was all these guys approaching, saying that there is no um, no like public boat that we have to do private for one thousand five hundred, which is around thirty dollars. We already paid thirty dollars for the tricycle up north. Then they're trying to charge another thirty for a private boat to to Romblon. So Romblon, I don't know if you can see it. It's that island there not even that far at all we think they're lying we think there is a public boat they're just trying to make us uh, get the private one to spend money so yeah we're just trying to work it out now and hopefully there is a public one we just have to find out what time it is so as expected there is the public boat at eight avoided the scam carol yeah we are in the southeast Asia for so too long yeah to fall for this anyway let's go So we have made it to Romblon, a pretty crazy boat ride. People were throwing up because yeah, with all the waves it was just yeah, just bouncing around everywhere. And we've just checked into the place we're staying. It's called El Krimpov and it's twenty dollars. Seems to be a really nice place here. We're right on the coast. Look how beautiful this looks. There's actually stairs so you can just go down, take a swim here. The owner said there's loads of fish here, so that's really nice. And there's actually an island over there, which is where we're going to be heading next. There's a beach facing it called Bon Bon Beach. Let's see what the water's like. Oh, very nice. Not going to go for a swim here now, but yeah, this looks absolutely beautiful. So that's Tablas in the background where we just came from. I like it already. And we just got our scooter rental here, so that was 400 pesos per day. just arrived. You probably saw the island is pretty much identical to Tablas, the, the nature and the trees and stuff. And they're all part of the same province. So the province is called Romblon, just like this island. And I don't know how many islands are included in that province, but I know Tablas is. And also Carabao, which we visited from Boracay on the, the day trip. That is in the same province of, of Romblon. So there's no real parking, you just park at the back there um, on the side of the road and then you can come in. It is a private beach, this Bonbon Bon Beach, 
but the owner lets you come in. There's no fee or anything, so yeah, you're just free to roam. So it really does just look amazing here already. You can see there in the back are some other islands, so you can do island hopping tours to those as well. Here's Bonbon bon the dog. Hello Bonbon. Bon. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Come on, Bonbon. Bon. What is the main attraction of this beach? You have to walk about, I don't know, seven, eight minutes or something to get here. And it's this cool strip of uh, sand right in the, in the middle. So you got a beach over there, a beach back there. And then check this out. It goes to the island back there. So that island is called Bang Og Island, I think. Bon Bon still following us, the owner of the of the beach. Hello there. <laughs> Come on, Bon Bon, show us the way. That's so cool, though. How awesome is this? It's amazing. It's similar to Kalangaman. Yeah, yeah Kalangaman Island. So if you come here really early in the morning or in the afternoon, when the tide goes down, there's actually a, pa a passage to the island, like a, a sandbar appears. So I don't know how long we're gonna stay here today, but yeah, if the tide does go down at some point, it's probably gonna look awesome because you can even walk there depending on the time. Philippines just gets more and more mind-blowing every day especially on this trip since we're doing like the more off the beaten path stuff finding all these gems that aren't really that that popular but obviously a lot of these places require you to go on a bit of a adventure to arrive here but definitely a rewarding adventure so Carol the the great inventor just made a tripod yeah, for the GoPro. It actually works. Check it out. Now we can take a shot of Bonbon. Bon. <laughs> so we've now found our, our new model for the island photo shoots.
main part of the beach. The only problem here is uh, there's no shade. We're literally like facing the sun. So yeah, we're just gonna have to bake in the sun today, I guess. Put a lot of sunscreen on anyway. And even this part, look at this side of the beach. We're on the opposite side now. Absolutely incredible. This place is amazing. It's okay. I don't know what's wrong with this dog. Hey Kyle, so I think this might be the best uh, beach that we've ever been to in the Philippines. I think it's number one. Yeah. Kalangamo was nice, but I think this one is better. Yeah, I think so too. The dog doesn't think so. No. <laughs> Worst beach ever, right dog? Yeah, sometimes uh, you guys ask me to do like a top 10 of the top 10 beaches that we've ever been to because we do a lot of beach videos, right? So if I ever do a top 10, this beach is definitely going in it. It's probably going to be in the top 5, maybe even top 3. That's just how good this place is. <laughs> on a mission now to try and find a bar or something to to get some drinks we've run out of liquids and there is absolutely nothing on this beach we just asked some of the people that live here a lot of foreigners live on this island it's not like tablas where we didn't see foreigners you do see some here and we were talking to a guy that's been living here for seven years so yeah what an awesome place to live and he was just telling us that there should be a bar down here, but it's on another beach. So we've just got our guide still with us and he's showing us the way. So apparently behind these rocks here, there's another beach with a store. We'll find out. Isn't that right, Grumpy? check it out so this is another completely deserted beach once again looks absolutely beautiful dog's already gone <laughs> this place is ridiculous right yeah i think it's probably more beautiful than tablas yeah i think so because i think the water here is more clear or maybe the sand is whiter i don't know yeah i'm not sure but probably is nicer both amazing places so we asked one of the locals where the store was and then he offered us some coconut obviously to buy it for 50 each so yeah we decided to get some coconut instead even better I think he lives around here. Beautiful place. Oh. Hey, calm down. <laughs> you live here? Yeah. Your house? No, my uncle. Oh, your uncle? Yeah. What is that called? Uh, buco? Yeah, buco. Buco. Yeah. All right, we got the coconut. Over here, they call it buco, I think. And that guy said uh, this beach here, this beautiful beach, is called Champan, something like that. Yeah, pretty, pretty amazing. How is it? 
A bit warm, I think. Yeah, it's yeah. warm, but it's okay. Yeah, nice and sweet still. She looks thirsty. <laughs> yeah, that's a uh, good business back there. He just picks the coconuts naturally off those trees right in his garden and then sells it to the foreigners. <laughs> I might actually get the the drone out again. I was going to save it for the Bomb Bomb Beach if the tide goes down and there's the strip. But yeah, I might fly it here and then I'll probably try and save some battery and fly it later. Look at this place. This is just heaven right now. Crazy. You think we should head back to Bon Bon? Bon Bon with Bon Bon? This dog absolutely loves us. He thinks we're his new adopted owners. Isn't that right, Bon Bon? You're gonna follow us forever. When we leave on the scooter, he's just gonna be running, running behind us. I feel sad now. Yeah, he's sad, but we didn't do anything. Yeah, you stroked her once, yeah. and that's it. Now you're a mama. <laughs> All right, let's head out of this beautiful spot right now. Head back over there to the island. So we got some sad news. When we was walking back, a big pack of dogs, some dog thugs started running after, after Bon Bon and Bon Bon ran away. Back to the other beach where we came from. She's okay. What? She's okay because yeah. the other dogs are just here waiting for her, but she went away. So she's fine, but not with us. <laughs> yeah. We'll miss you, Bon Bon. So the weather has took a quick turn for the worst. Looks like a storm's coming. We had read on the weather forecast that there was going to be a storm. So the tide's actually gone higher now, not lower like we was waiting for. So there ain't no chance we're going to be crossing this today, that's for sure. You can see all these clouds aren't looking very nice right now. Quite a few people here now, more people. Yeah, so I guess that's it for this video. But like I said, it's been the best beach that we visited in the Philippines and the best beach dog that we've ever met. <laughs> so two, two good things in, the, in one video, in one day. And we don't know what we're gonna be doing over the next few days. We've got two more days here, but it seems like there's just gonna be storms and stuff. So I don't know if there's gonna be another video from Romblon Island but we will be making some more videos around here on the other islands nearby if we can't make one here again, we'll just have to see. So as always, just drop a like on the video if you if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to like to see more videos like this. Check us out on Instagram and we'll see you in the next one.